the bike pump. It looks simple, but it's a masterpiece of precision engineering packed with intricate components. So how does it fill your tires with high pressure air without blowing up in your face? Inside this pump, 74 precision built parts work together. A flexible leather plunger traps air in the pump's body. A brass spring-loaded valve directs this air down a reinforced hose wrapped in a tough stainless steel braid. Inside the chuck that attaches to the bicycle tire, synthetic seals ensure an airtight fit. Keeping so many moving parts airtight is a serious engineering challenge. At this US factory, workers machine the small metal parts to two thousandths of a centimeter accuracy to make sure they fit together perfectly. This takes some skill, even with computerized lathes. I've done this for 25 years. Larry is a master machinist who can turn a lump of metal into pretty much anything. Not very often I run into something that's hard to figure out. He'll turn this bar of stainless steel into the key component that attaches the pump hose to the wheel. Computer-controlled cutting heads form the outer shape, then drill out the center to let the air through. So this is the chuck body. There's uh, parts that go inside, there's a cap that screws on, and uh, this fits over the valve stem on your bike. Yeah, this part should outlast me. Workers then assemble all of the 74 parts, including Larry's, by hand. They've been doing it this way since the company started back in 1917. One of the most important components isn't made of metal. This is three and a half millimeter full grain hide. It's the same that's used in modern day, like luxury briefcases, suitcases. Josh runs the company but still makes time to assemble pumps on the shop floor. And because the leather is so stiff, you want to take your finger and sort of begin to work it so that it's flexible. It's like breaking in a, a baseball glove. The washer must be tough. Only leather will do. Rubber wouldn't last as long. This is our main barrel, which has the inner diameter honed to a mirror finish. As we draw it back, the air can pass around it to fill the chamber, and then as it pushes forward, the air pressure uh, causes it to uh, flare outward against the wall of the barrel, giving you a seal. The air then flows through a one-way valve and out into another critical part of the pump, the pressure gauge. This is one of the most intricate parts of the whole pump. As air rushes into the pressure gauge, it pushes against a rubber diaphragm. This flexes upwards and hits a spring-loaded pin attached to a needle. As the air pressure mounts, it drives the pin up and rotates the needle. To measure the air pressure, with supreme precision. Across Europe, we cycle over 600 million kilometers every day. Without the deceptively clever bike pump, none of these trips would be possible.